Well, good morning. It is Tuesday morning, and uh, yeah, we are speaking about getting stuck in the middle of the story. And uh, many a times we we read a book and we kind of get into the middle and uh, kind of like, uh, can I continue? Uh, Do I want to see how it ends? (laughs) And sometimes many of us jump to the end, not so to find out how it ends, because somehow we don't fully understand the story. Well, I don't know about you, but sometimes in life we, we find it a little difficult to understand this thing called life. And so today, I want to talk to you about this. Turn the page of life. God is in the detail. So if you're getting stuck in the middle of your story this morning, come on, I want you to continue in turning your pages of life. By continue to turn your pages of life, you will see that God is in the detail of your life. Every part of your life, God is there playing a role within your life. Now, I heard this, an atheist once said, if God confronted him in the afterlife and asked him why he did not believe, he would say there was not enough evidence. (laughs) What a lie. Not so. That lie would get him into hell. Not so. Now, listen, Romans 1 verse 20 says they have no excuse of not knowing God. There is not one person that will stand before God one day and have an excuse of not knowing God. By again this, that if they just look around them and they will see the evidence of God all around them. Again, like I said, uh, is standing at, under a clear night sky, looking up into that bright, well, that black this up there and seeing all those stars you cannot but declare what a god what a god who created all this that we see you see god does not need uh, at times to defend himself because sometimes what we do is as christians we can get stuck in the middle of our story by lashing out to people who claim there is not enough evidence and so we want to kind of bring the evidence you know what all you have to do is live your life <laughs> god doesn't need defending you hear what i'm saying all we have to reveal the, uh, of god's existence through the lifestyle we live because we can show them once i was lost but now I am found. Once I was blind, but now I see. And my entire life is changed in this. Now not serving the God of this world, but serving the God who created all things around us. You see, the life we live in Christ Jesus is open an open liner to the conversation that we will have with people who do not know and do not realize that God is able to change one's life. All people have to do is look at your life. And again, yes, you can show them of where you've come from and what you've come through. And now that you're not getting stuck in the middle of your story, but now each day you are able to turn your page and print a new story as God leads you through His Holy Spirit. I love the scripture found in Romans chapter 8, verse 31. It says this, if God is for us, notice this, if God is for us. Now, God is for us. And again, uh, uh, Paul is writing to, to the church in Rome and he's saying to them, come on, God is for us. If you look around and see again, God is for us. Note this, that God is for you. <laughs> I, I put this in brackets, in us, on us, alongside of us. Yes, that's where we can find God, in us, on us, and alongside of us. Who can ever be against us? Now, if God is for us, who can be against us? You see, this is what the, the God of this world wants to do. He wants to, again, uh, bring to you uh, uh, many kind of arguments of there is no God. But yet we can show people through our lifestyle of how God has changed us. And by changing us now, he has become our great shepherd who leads us through life. We don't get stuck in the middle of our life story because people refuse to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of their life. We're living out in our lives and through our lives by showing others that God is able to change one's life. Listen, 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1, Paul writes and says, follow me 
for I follow Christ. Now, the Corinthians were a hard bunch of people to convert, but Paul said to them, I want to show you my life. I want to show you what I've come through. I want to show you what God has brought me through. And by looking at my life, you will see that there truly is a God because only God can change a life. Not so. No matter what you are caught up in, no matter what you come through, God is there for you. And so there is no excuse for not knowing God. There is no excuse for not knowing Him more. Know Him by leading others to Him. How do I do that? By telling them my story. And by telling them my story, I do not get stuck in the middle of the story. Mm -hmm.